Well, it might be one of the most fly under the radar, high profile assistant coaches in American Hockey League history. Mike Knubel, a Stanley Cup winner, over a thousand games in the National Hockey League, a star at the University of Michigan, and a local boy, 10 years as an assistant coach here in Grand Rapids with the Griffins, Mike. And it's time to step away. Uh, you know, it's not, there's not been a lot of fanfare in that regard, but uh, we're going to make it a big deal now because obviously the Griffins organization is going to miss Mike Knubel. Yeah, well, I'm lucky enough to have come in here, you know, with I mean, Jeff was here and then Todd Nelson and, and through Ben, and we've always had great coaches. And, you know, they kind of let me come in and be a part-time guy. I've been raising kids, you know, the whole time and trying to create um, – well, the two boys are up in the hockey and my daughter's thriving at Michigan State. And so I kind of chose that route a little bit instead of going full time. I mean, I know what it takes, you know, in this at this level to be a full time coach. And I wasn't quite ready to make that commitment. But at the same time, I had a nice, um, if you call it an agreement or just a nice back, you know, a nice relationship with the Red Wings and and uh, um, and the coaches, the coaches that came and came come and gone here, you know, and they've always had time for me. And so um, you know, just kind of in the background, we'd always joke I'm the longest tenured guy in the in the American <laughs> League besides Dog. You know, I yeah. <laughs> it's like I worked the longest around here. But um, yeah, certainly there's a little transition here in, in coaching, and you know, for me working part time, it was probably not gonna. You know, every organization adjusts and all that, and they're trying to readjust some things as well. And so that part that part kind of goes away. And so uh, you know, mentoring is a time in my life. You know, and now I have two boys playing Division One hockey this year, so it get, frees up a little bit more time in that respect to. To travel around and watch that and and so uh yeah it's 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 been a good run you know to be around here for a championship in 2017 and and all that was you got to do a lot of things and i think the most important thing is we had a lot of fun here yeah and we had winning teams and you know since COVID, things have kind of takes a while to come out of that or whatever but we've had a really good time here a lot of fun coaching hockey here well in addition you're doing a great job with your kids yeah. cam cole and anna uh, you know, the mentoring uh, and the influence you've had on so many guys that walked through this locker room and onto the National Hockey League, whether they make it to the NHL or not, the influence you've had. And that was your role with this team, Mike, and, and you clearly understood that and, and grasped it and ran with it. Uh, it was the X's and O's were one thing, but more than anything, Mike Knubel, who's got this incredible reputation during a great hockey career, uh, uh, your role was simply to be a role model for this, this, uh, these young hockey players. Yeah, I think, I think part of it is, uh, you know, when you're a, an older player to show you're, you're, when you're a younger player and you're coming in and, you know, you don't, you don't have a crystal ball. You don't know where your career is going. And, and, but you want to see kind of, you like to know what's on the other side, you know, you know, so you try and look at older guys and say, you know, you know, and I try to be that guy where they could see kind of like, well, this is what, you know, if you have a nice career and, you have, and you're successful, this is, you know, what you can do at the end and, and kind of give a little bit of words of wisdom along the way and talk about situations you've been in before. And, and uh, for a lot of these guys, they probably, they probably played, you know, me on, on video games, right? You know, yeah. and, and, you know, they, that's, that's part of them is they're like, I've had a number of guys come up to me and say, oh, man, you were my, you were my guy on, you know, on EA Sports or, you know, NHL 2020 or whatever, you know, whatever the NHL game was. And, and so that's where a lot of them know it, especially now that they're kind of getting younger and I'm getting older, you know. But um, so it's, you know, you just want to be a good representation of what, a, you know, an old pro is or whatever. And, and, and talk about some stuff that happened to you along the way. And they don't want to hear boring stories of, you know, yesteryear and all that, but there's always stuff that comes up. And then to be a local guy and stuff like that is, is kind of um, an extra little, nice little piece to it. And uh, um, like I said, it's just good people around here and starting with you guys and you in the front office and then, you know, all the hockey ops guys, we just had a real good time around here. Like, you know, you, you, as I said, uh, what the influence you've had on your kids uh, is pretty remarkable to watch. I've seen them since they were little and, uh, uh, you know, we've done such a great job with them. And, uh, and that's a part of why you've been so focused on them and only a part-time thing here. Uh, although you did make the occasional road trip with the yeah, Griffins. Let's yeah. see, San Diego, Tucson, <laughs> Austin. Funny yeah, how it yeah, always worked yeah, out that yeah, way. But, yeah. uh, you know, now, now you're entering critical stages, like you say, with your kids, uh, especially Cole. You know, this is a big year for him coming up. His freshman year at Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to want to spend as much time with him, I know, as you, as you can. Yeah, and there's, you know, it's hard. Everybody can't be two places at once, right? And I think everybody out there who's got kids in sports, there's always like, you know, you're rushing from your job to go to get, you know, you have big weekends away and all that. So, um, yeah, I know it's certainly a unique time, and you don't get those times those years back. And so it's kind of my path I've chosen a little bit. And, um, you know, could 
could I be further along in my, my post-coaching career? Absolutely. You know, if I would have started at day one, I had opportunities to go full-time day one, but I kind of chose to be in the background a little bit more and be home a lot more and stuff. And so, and I don't regret that. It's been a good ride. And I could take things from here and then move them down, especially as they got older, like 14, 15, 16, playing. You could take some stuff from here and, and kind of and, and use it on them, you know, and some theories and, and some things. So. Um, I think I learned a lot more about the game sitting in that office than, than I ever did as a yeah. player. And I think that was pretty noticeable the first month or two I was sitting in there with Jeff Blaschel and that and like every player should have to come in here for like a three week stint. Just come in early, don't have to say anything, just sit here and have a coffee and just listen. And listen to them break down film and listen to them go through a game and what, you know, how to make this team better and going through the lineup. And you might be privy to some information, some stuff you shouldn't hear, mm -hmm. but, but at the same time, it, you, you could learn a lot in there. And I, I, I found that was one of the biggest things I noticed right away was like, man, I should have paid more attention. And then I get it as a player, like you're trying to keep your eye above water. You got your own thoughts and your own, you know, you're trying to figure out where you're going as a player and who you are as a player. But, uh, you know, when it was all said and done, I, I learned a ton sitting in that office and, and, hearing both sides, you know, hearing player side, hearing coach's side is being a player and then hearing the coach's side of things is, is much different. So learned a ton like that. And I just try and pass it down a little bit. Well, even when he was playing in the National Hockey League, when he was back here in the summertime, always contributed to our uh, various causes, including helping out with our hockey camp. He's had a great impact on me, Mike, for sure. Uh, just a good friend. And uh, Mike, thanks for everything. Thank you. Appreciate well, it. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.